A new art show in Hamilton is celebrating the city's vibrant music and art scene while also paying homage to one of the city's most beloved bands. And most of the artwork is done by musicians themselves. Eric Viano has more. At Beckett's Fine Arts on Lock Street, you'll find a rare archive of artwork from some of Hamilton's great musicians. The culture of Hamilton, the inspiration that Hamilton has been around the world uh, cannot be bulldozed. Um, that we can't allow it to be uh, forgotten. The gallery is called Love Hamilton. Beckett's Fine Arts has been working closely with several artists, including Tom Wilson, music producer and musician Daniel Lenoir, and the bassist of Teenage Head, Steve Mahone, to create it. I have to make myself happy. So when I made that, I had to love it. And that, that's just my criteria. I don't I probably got 99% of the stuff I try and make, it's throwaway. I don't like it, it's not good enough. When you get it, you know it, your gut tells you, okay, that's, that's worth framing, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's evolved over a few years, uh, with the passing of Gord Lewis, sort of as a, a seed that got things going. Gord Lewis, a founding member of Hamilton-based rock band Teenage Head, tragically died in 2022. Artist Gary Spearin dedicated his work in the gallery to Lewis. They're based on my growing up experiences with, well, Teenage Head and the other images are two images of Gord. Um, I remember the starting of Gord playing um, and well, I, when they used to play in the basements, I remember I was there for all those things. Now among the art here in the gallery, you can also see lots of Teenage Head memorabilia, like here in this cabinet, there's a picture right there that actually shows Teenage Head performing on the rooftop of Jackson Square. Another piece of memorabilia here, which is really interesting, is an outfit that was designed by Stephen Mahone. He would wear it on stage during Teenage Head performances. It's so great to be here with all Hamilton artists, all of us, Maggie, John, Gary, Danny, Tommy, and me. But isn't that great to look around here and see all this art by Hamiltonians? The gallery opened on September 5th, and it will be available to view until September 23rd. To have it all finally on the wall and lit and people coming in to enjoy, it's wonderful. That cycle, going to writing a book, going to painting, writing music, it's all my meditation. It's where I go to, to uh, rejuvenate myself and hopefully the art inspires love in a world that desperately needs to be reminded that we need to love one another more. Eric Vieno, CHCH News, Hamilton.